We need to get you some shorter shorts, dude. Yeah, I, I don't think they're short enough. <laughs> Unreal. Dude, just imagine when I start squatting. Yeah, like... yikes. I wouldn't want to be there. Little 90 already. Really? Wow, that's good. Ninety-one. You won't pop a four today. It's because the camera's in your face. That's why. Yeah, well, I feel like a little, a little amped up. Much, yeah. More, more nah, just do what you do. Don't reach for too much. Yeah. Ninety-one. Remember, feel the hammy, then go. Don't focus on the hip. Yeah. Ninety. Never mind. Eighty-nine four. Sorry. <laughs> what a letdown. That was good though. That was good. Yeah. Another, yesterday I felt a lot like hip. Yeah. And I didn't know what you meant by hammy, but it's just like more you need, of a hinge hit, instead of like. It's just another like how I told you, like I'm teaching you. Like I still want to say stack. Yes. And just feel that like hammy. The words I'm up. using is so your brain doesn't jump to the immediate easy. Yeah. Like oh, hinge. Okay, easy. That's yeah. not what we're looking for yeah. with that. It's not gonna work. Yeah. Because then what you're gonna do is you'll be. And then yeah, you'll be yeah. a you'll be a two five to home, and yeah. that does nobody any. I, mean, I was like, I can't get into this. Re like, this exactly, uh, but you hear boom, hammy, and go, and now you're in your hinge the way you need to be. Yeah, very good. Ninety one. All right, bud. Ninety point three. Yeah, yeah. And even that one, I was about to say, 91. That one, you still could have held a sec, like just a hair. Don't change anything, but like just to gather over the rubber a little, because you started, you drifted a little bit. It's not bad, but just to gather your energy a little bit better. 90.3. If you do it too much, you lose your rhythm too. Did it feel like that or no? Not good. Okay, it's just like visually, you're, it seems like you're losing a little bit of the power if you try to stay here. I mean, focus on the hinge. Yeah, I'm getting into my leg lift. Good. And, and you're loading fine. It's just like, okay, how do we move more optimal? Yeah. yeah, okay. Low, just a little, I mean, okay. I, I mean, we're just very, very little. I don't want you to change what you're doing, but no, I, there, I see there's improvement. Maybe. Yes, yeah. okay. And I'm not even gonna go off the velo, but that was better. That was better. That was better. That was 91, but you're, the rest of your body's moving perfect. Your back leg can just stay a little longer, then go. That was good. 91 again. Let's go change ups. 13 and minus 11. What's the spin? 21, 24, between no. 10 and 11. Right, right at about 11. Yeah. Much better than last week. Yes, yes. See, that was a little slower, 79. Yeah. The but the movement was about the same. Okay. I feel like it just played a little better. Not horrible, but not amazing. Dude, compared to last year, yeah. my bad change-ups were like Home runs, yeah. No, they were home runs is what they were, right? <laughs> no, a bit they like- uncompetitive pitches. Um, Metrics-wise, it was the same as all the other ones. Okay, just your location, yeah, your location was just a little up, but. Right. So back to fastballs. Yeah, this is it right here, or are you gonna come back to change up? How many pitches are we? Nine. Let's I think we go just four, four fa three, fa fa three fastballs. Three fastballs. Three change ups back to let it eat. Right. Ninety. Keep yourself in control. Yeah. Ninety. The last two, I've been trying to hammer that, like, stay more stacked over the rubber, and it feels slower. Yes. I mean, I'm throwing the same, yeah. but I feel like I'm moving slower. So that's why I'm saying, like, it needs to be a balance between getting yourself, that's why guys will preset. Like, I'm not telling you you need to preset, but guys will preset so they can already get there, yes. and they've cut out that piece. It could be what you're missing, that piece, and then it's just boom, go, and they could be quick. 91. Wow. Got around it. 83 though, I was right. 82, three and uh, minus 14. That's good. One more. One more and then let it eat. Yes, yeah. 82 again. Yeah, 16 on that one. Good. All right, you got a two in you? Yeah. 
Let's see it, bud. I gotta give you credit, 95% strikes. 90, two strike right here, gamer. Yeah, yeah, 90. That was your only 89, you gotta go. One more. 80, 89. You're good, no, you're good. Oh boy. Average Vila at about 90. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, for a pen. It's only our third pen, so. So this is Hazahel Quijada. He was with the Bravos de Leon last year in the LMB. Prior to that, he was with the Padres up to high A, I believe, double A. Um, we started working together three weeks ago, and immediately the first adjustment we started trying to attack was the timing of his trunk as he came down the mountain, even while he was in catch play. So up until really today was the first time that I really need, didn't need to mention it to him. And now just about as you heard the timing and figuring out how do we optimize his motion down and through the mound and with consistency and in the strike zone. Because at the end of the day, throw 100 miles an hour. If you can't throw strikes, you're useless. What we were working on with the trunk was almost like trying to create a version of the hip hinge with his trunk prior to what the hinge was doing. And it's a little bit unorthodox, but I found it to help, especially elite throwers, since they're able to understand and know what their body's doing, and creating better timing for their arm, just staying closed longer and staying away from the basic, just stay closed, fill your legs, get in your legs, et cetera, et cetera. It gives you more of an advanced feel and approach to how do we get an elite thrower to move better. And as we see his first bullpen, in the off season, he was 88. Today he sat 90, got up to 91. So we're climbing early in the off season too, which is a good sign. We're not gonna try to hold this pace. We're just kind of making adjustments now. We're not really velo training, just this is what his body's producing. And I'm excited to see where the progress will take him. So the last three weeks, another thing we addressed was his changeup and the pitchability of his changeup. The number one most important thing we've been trying to focus on past just arm speeding, throwing it as hard as you can, which defining that is you think fastball, I'm gonna throw a ball very hard. Changeup needs to be the same thing, but with whatever grip it is that you're holding. So for him, it was throw the ball really hard and you need to exaggerate the pronation. Like you're taking the pronated part of your hand to home plate. And for him, that helped clean up the consistency that we found and saw today, and it's just, we're gonna build from there, hopefully add a little bit more velo on it, and the more horizontal movement. Today he was 13, 15 inches. Hopefully we can get it 16 to 19 inches, and that'll become a plus pitch for him, for sure.